What is counter steering? Turning the wheel in the opposite direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. You're driving on a straight level highway at 50 miles per hour. There are no vehicles in front of you. Suddenly a tire blows out on your vehicle. What should you do first? Stay off the brake until the vehicle slows down on its own. What is the IPDE method of driving? Identify, predict, decide, execute. Which of these statements about using mirrors is true? There are blind spots that your mirror cannot show you. No matter how small the cargo is, it should have at least two tie downs. You have left the road in an emergency condition. It is impossible for you to come to a stop prior to returning to the road. Which of the following is the best action to take? Reduce your speed to 20 miles per hour or less before returning to the road. Tie downs must be of the proper type and strength. The combined strength of the cargo tie downs must be strong enough to lift. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tie down. Your brakes can get wet when you drive through a heavy rain. What can this cause when the brakes are applied? All answers are correct. Wheel lockup, trailer, jackknife, lack of braking, power. How far should a driver look ahead of the vehicle while driving? 12 to 15 seconds. Which of these statements about speed management is true? All answers are correct. On a wet road, you should reduce your speed about one third. On packed snow, you should reduce your speed about one half. When the road is slippery, it will take longer to stop and it will be harder to turn without skidding. You are driving a new truck with a manual transmission. What gear will you probably have to use to take a long downhill grade? A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. How do you correct a rear wheel acceleration skid? Stop accelerating. Which of these is a good rule to follow when using a fire extinguisher? Aim at the base of the fire. Too much weight on the steering axle can cause the following. All answers are correct. Hard steering, damage to the steering axle, damage to the tires. Covering the brake means to have your foot over the brake and ready to push it if necessary. Which of these statements about drugs is true? Use of drugs can lead to accidents and or arrest. To prevent shifting, there should be at least one tie down for every feet of cargo. 10. Where or when should you test the stopping action of your service brakes? When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. You are driving a heavy vehicle and must exit a highway using a off-ramp that curves downhill. You should Slow down to a safe speed before the turn. When should you wear seat belts? Anytime you are in a moving vehicle. On which fires can you use the ABC fire extinguisher?
All answers are correct. Electrical fires, burning fires, burning cloth. Some traffic emergencies may require you to leave the road. Which of these is a good thing to remember? If you must leave the road, try to get all wheels off the pavement, or at least one side of the vehicle's tires off the road. Dry bulk tanks require special care because Both above, they have a high center of gravity, and the load can shift. What would you use to put out a gasoline fire? Dirt. Some liquid tanks are divided into several smaller tanks by bulkheads. When driving a commercial vehicle with a height over 13 feet, you should If you aren't sure about the clearance, stop and make sure. You must inspect your cargo. All answers are correct before starting, every 3 hours or 150 miles, after every break. Cargo covers All answers are correct. Protect people from spilled cargo, protect cargo from the weather, may be required by law. Which of these is a good rule to follow when driving at night? Keep your speed slow enough that you can stop within the range of your headlights. Stab braking Involves locking the wheel vehicle has hydraulic brakes. While traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? Pumping the brake pedal may bring the pressure up so you can't stop the vehicle. You are driving a heavy vehicle with a manual transmission. You must stop the vehicle on the shoulder while driving on a upgrade. Which of this is a good rule to follow when putting it back in motion? Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. If you are being tailgated, you should Increase the space in front of you. You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Rust around wheel nuts may mean that they are loose. If you are confronted by an aggressive driver, what should you do? Do all of the above. Avoid eye contact. Call the police from your cell phone if you can't do it safely. Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react negatively. You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you... Avoid using your cell phone until you reach your destination. What is a common cause of tire fires? Underinflated tires. Do empty trucks have the best braking? No. How far ahead should you look while driving? Ten to twelve seconds. Which of the following should you not do if you experience a tire failure? Brake hard and immediately. What might happen if you swing wide to the left before you turn right? Someone might try to pass you on your left. What will help someone who is drunk sober up? Time. Total stopping distance equals 
perception distance plus reaction distance plus breaking distance. Convex curved mirrors. Show a wider area than flat mirrors. Containerized loads. Are typically used for freight carried partway by rail or ship. How many red reflective triangles should you carry? Three. How does bleeding tar affect the road surface and driving conditions? Tar rises to the road surface in a very hot weather, causing the roads to become very slippery. Dry bulk tanks and hanging meat are unstable loads. A GPS device should be designed for truck navigation. A major cause of fatal crashes is driving too fast for road conditions. Whenever you stop for a break during your trip, you should Check critical items such as tires, brakes, and cargo tie-downs. High beams should be used whenever it is safe and legal to do so. The safety release valve is located on the air tanks and is used by Self-operated when the air pressure is above 150 PSI. Which of these is a proper use of vehicle lights and flashers? All answers are correct. Turning on your headlights during the day when visibility is reduced due to rain or snow. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you of a hazard that will require slowing down. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are going to stop on the road. Which of the following is a key steering component? Gearbox. How can you start moving without rolling backward? Do all of the above. Engage the clutch before removing your foot from the brake. Apply the trailer brake, hand valve. Set the parking brake whenever necessary. Which is not one of the four basic skills that operating a commercial motor vehicle requires. First aid certification. What is the average reaction distance? 61 feet. The most common cause of serious vehicle skids is driving too fast for road conditions. You must park on the side of a level, straight to lane road. Where should you place the three reflective triangles? One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle. One about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. The distance that you should look ahead of your vehicle while driving amounts to about a highway speed. One-fourth of a mile. If you're convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first offense, you will most likely get at least one year suspension of your CDL. 
front end header boards. Protect you from your cargo in case of collision and block the forward movement of your cargo. The formula for stopping distance with air brakes is Perception distance, reaction distance, brake lag distance, and effective braking distance. Which of the following statements about driving in areas with strong winds is true? Winds are especially a problem when coming out of tunnels. Which of these statements about crossing or entering traffic with a heavy vehicle is true? Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. If a vehicle continues to drive in your blind spot, you should Speed up You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 45 miles per hour. Driving conditions are idle. What is the best amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? Five seconds. Axle weight means the following. The weight transmitted to the tires from the axle. The new BAC or blood alcohol concentration for commercial drivers to be considered intoxicated when driving a commercial vehicle is 0 0.04 Which of these statements about brakes is true? The heavier a vehicle or the faster it is moving, the more heat the brakes must absorb to stop. Your vehicle is in a traffic emergency and may collide with another vehicle if you do not act. Which of these is a good rule to remember at such time? Heavy vehicles can almost always turn more quickly than they can stop. A moving vehicle ahead of you has a red triangle with an orange center on the rear. What does this mean? It may be a slow moving vehicle. The parking brake should be tested while the vehicle is parked. A driver's grid log, if required, must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. Underloaded front axles can cause the following Poor traction What should you do when your vehicle hydroplanes? Release the accelerator. You are traveling down a long, steep hill. Your brakes get so hot that they fail. What should you do? Look for an escape ramp or escape route. Which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. When can you drive a vehicle howling hazardous materials? Only when the vehicle does not require placards. You should stop driving when you become sleepy. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on all the answers are correct. The amount of liquid will expand in transit. The weight of the liquid, the legal weight limits. 
The basic two reasons to cover your cargo are one, to protect the cargo from the weather and two, all answers are correct. Protect people from spilled cargo, protect the roadway from spilled cargo, and protect vehicle following you from spilled cargo. There are three types of vehicle inspections. Which one is one of them? All answers are correct. Pre-trip, en route, and post-trip. Inspect your cargo after you have driven. 50 miles. According to the driver's manual, why should you limit the use of your horn? It can startle other drivers. Which of these can cause a fire? All the answers are correct. Underinflated tires, loose fuel connections, and electrical short circuits. You are checking your brakes and suspension system for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? All answers are correct. Brake shoes should not be worn dangerously thin. Brake pads should not have brake fluid on them. One missing leaf in a leaf spring can be dangerous. You are driving on a two-lane road. An oncoming driver drifts into your lane and is headed straight for you. Which of these is generally the best action? Steer to the right. For an average commercial vehicle, being driven at 55 miles per hour on drive pavement, it will take about to bring the vehicle to a stop. More than a length of a football field. What happens when tar heats up? It makes the road more slippery. In snow and ice, you should reduce your speed by by one half. How many tie downs are required for a 20 foot load? Two. It has just reached freezing. Which of the following areas may be slippery? All of the above. A wet looking road, a bridge, a shaded area. Which of the following statements about an escape ramp is false? It is not useful if you are traveling too fast. You should inspect wheel bearing seals for leaks. Before transporting a sealed load, you must check that you don't exceed gross weight or axle weight limits. While driving at night, which lights should you use as often as you can? High beams. If the engine is not overheated, is it completely safe to remove the radiator cap? No. Your emergency kit does not need to include a spare jacket. While driving, ice builds up on your wipers and they no longer clean the windshield. You should pull over in a safe place and remove the ice. Is it legal to drive with one-fourth of a vehicle's leaf springs, broken or missing? No. 
the distance that you should scan ahead in a congested area is about one block. A vehicle is loaded with very little weight on the drive axle. What may result? Poor traction. Truck escape ramps. Are designed to protect vehicles from damage. What effects can wet brakes cause? Brakes can grab or become weak. When you check the condition of visible parts during your pre-trip inspection, make sure that the are secured against nagging, rubbing, or wearing. Airlines and electrical wiring. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous materials when The vehicle does not require placards. Which of the following violations at railroad crossings can lead to loss of your CDL for at least 60 days? Both of the above, not having sufficient space to drive all the way through without stopping and getting stuck on the trucks because of insufficient clearance. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Both of the above, before and after signaling the change, and after starting and after completing the lane change. On which fires can you see the ABC fire extinguisher? Both of the above, electrical fires, and burning tires or cloth. Which of these tells you that the cargo contains hazardous materials? Both of these answers are correct. A hazardous material placard is on the vehicle and there is a four inch diamond shaped hazardous materials label on the container. Which of these statements about speed management is true? Both of the above answers are true. On packed snow, you should reduce your speed by about one half. And on a wet road, you should reduce your speed by about one third. Which of these is not required knowledge for drivers needing a hazmat endorsement? Basic chemistry. Which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat the common cold? They often make you sleepy, therefore they should not be used while driving. Which of these statements is true about other drivers? Short term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limit version and pose a hazard. Which of these statements is not true about engine belts in hot weather? Cracking is likely to occur, but it's not a safety threat. Which of these statements is true about warning other drivers of a stopped vehicle? Move the rear reflective triangle back if the driver's vision is obscured to within 500 feet. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when caring for the injured at an accident scene? Allow injured persons to become chilled or overheated. Which of the following statements is true? Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Which of these statements is not true about bad weather driving conditions? As rain continues, the road becomes more slippery than it was when the rain began. 
What does axle weight mean? The weight transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of axles. With the BAC of most people lose consciousness and some die. 0.40 Loads that are over length, over width, or overweight may require both of the above, flashing lights and driving limited to certain times. Which of these is not something you should do if your headlights are not working properly? Leave your high beams on. Name some suspension system defects. Both of the above, leaking shock absorbers, broken leaves in a leaf spring, and a cracked or broken spring hanger. What's the safest way to use turn signals when you intend to turn? Do both of the above. Signal well in advance of the turn and signal continuously up through the turn. Which of these is especially true about your tires in hot weather? You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. What should you do if a car coming towards you at night keeps its high beams on? Look towards the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. When driving in cold weather, your tires must Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. When driving in an area with few streetlights on a clear night, if you cannot see well with your headlights, you should Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior lights off. When a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. What does communicating mean in safe driving? Letting other drivers know you're there. What is the proper way to hold the steering wheel? Firmly, with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. When inspecting mirrors and windshields for cracks, dirt, illegal stickers, and other obstructions to your vision, you should clean and adjust as necessary. When you are passing another vehicle, pedestrian, or bicyclist, you should assume that they will move out of your lane of traffic. What should you do before driving if you're sleepy? Get some sleep. If you must stop on a road or the shoulder of any road, you must put out your emergency warning devices within 10 minutes. Trucks and buses are subject to certain laws, restrictions, and regulations. Which of these statements is true? Laws and restrictions can vary from place to place. To prevent brake fade, you should Select a gear that will keep your vehicle at a safe speed on steep downgrades. You are driving a new truck with a manual transmission to take a long steep downhill grade. Use a lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Which of the following is true about a vehicle with a high center of gravity?
the cargo should be rearranged so that the heaviest parts of the cargo are under the lightest parts. One can recognize hazardous materials by looking at the containers. Label. Optional safety equipment may include emergency phone numbers, tire, chains, and a tire changing equipment. The best way to stop all skids is to Restore traction to the tires. If your brakes get wet on a rainy day, what can result? Reduce braking power. Implied consent means that when you do operate a CMV on public roads, you consent to have your vehicle inspected for alcohol. It takes the body about hours to get rid of the alcohol in four drinks. Four. Heavy vehicles must sometimes travel more slowly than other traffic. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when you are driving such a vehicle? Signal other drivers when it is safe for them to pass. You must park on the side of a level, straight four lanes divided highway. Where should you place the three reflective triangles? One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear of the vehicle, and one about 200 feet to the rear. A stale green light means the light ahead has been green for quite a while. A vehicle is loaded with the most of the weight on the steering axle. What may result? Hard steering and possible breakdown. When approaching a curve, you should downshift before entering the curve and accelerate slightly as you go through it. Should the pre-trip inspection report from the last driver be reviewed? during your pre-trip inspection? Yes. The load means the following. The maximum safe weight. On average, the total stopping distance with air brakes is Approximately 420 feet. To correct a rear wheel or drive wheel, braking skid, you should release brakes and counter steer. Which of the following is not something you should check during a trip? Text messages. Which of these is not part of the basic method for shifting up? Accelerating while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. You should put the starter switch key into your pocket while you perform the pre-trip inspection because someone could steal the truck. What is the best way to figure out how many seconds of following distance you have? Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a shadow or landmark, then count the seconds until you reach it. Signs of distracted drivers include Drivers having conversations with passengers If you have been drinking alcohol before you drive, you should wait for it to wear off. Blocking the cargo to keep it from shifting must be done. Only 
at the front of a piece of cargo. Every time you park your vehicle and shut the engine off, you should. Apply the parking brake. If you are being tailgated, you should. Increase your following distance. How long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single railroad track, a double railroad track? It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. How can you test the parking brake? Set the parking brake at highway speeds. To safely adjust your speed to current driving conditions, what should you look for ahead? Traffic and road conditions. What are some advantages of going right instead of left around an obstacle? Both of these answers are correct. You can avoid a head-on collision and someone may be passing to the left. The best drivers are those who watch and prepare for hazards. This is called being defensive. Is it safe to add coolant to a coolant recovery tank or coolant overflow tank while the engine is at operating temperature? Yes, as long as the engine isn't overheated. Name some important steering system parts. Tie rod, spindle, and pitman arm. If you need to leave the road in a traffic emergency, you should. Avoid braking until your speed has decreased to about 20 miles per hour. Under federal regulations, if a vehicle is carrying a load that is more than two feet wide and extends more than four feet beyond the rear of the vehicle, must be placed at the extreme end of the load. Two red flags. When driving on grades, which of these is the best choice for a safe speed? Based on your vehicle and its cargo, select a speed that is safe within the posted limit. When approaching a traffic light that has been green for a long time, you should Start to slow down so you will be ready to stop. What is the first thing you should try to do if your brakes fail while driving downhill? Get off the road as soon as possible. What is the definition of sleep depth? The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep. Which of these items is not checked on a pre-trip inspection? Amount of fuel in the vehicle. You should check the following of looseness, sticking, damage, or improper settings. Both of the above, accelerator, brakes and clutch pedals, and steering wheel and transmission controls. Which of these statements is not true? A drinker can control how fast his or her body absorbs and gets rid of alcohol. What is or are the more important reasons for doing a vehicle inspection? Both of the above. A vehicle defect that is found during inspection and corrected can prevent problems later and federal and state regulations require you to inspect your vehicle. 
you should schedule your driving. For the hours you are normally awake. Which of these is not a proper use of vehicle lights? Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Which of these statements about drinking alcohol is true? A few beers have the same effect on a driver as a few shots of whiskey. Which of these statements about using turn signals is true? When turning, you should signal early. If an automatic transmission is forced into a lower gear while driving, what is not affected on a downgrade? Steering. Over length, over width, and over weight loads require. All answers are correct. Special transit permits, driving limited to certain times, and flashing lights. When roads are slippery, you should make turns as gently as possible. Which of these is not a danger when an automatic transmission is forced into a lower gear at a high speed? Loss of steering control. What are the proper collision procedures that are required for any collision in which you are involved but not seriously injured? Both of the above are required procedures. Care for the injured and collect required information and protect the area and notify the authorities. The Commercial Driver's Handbook suggests several things to do when you pass a vehicle. Which of these is not one of them? Constantly blow your horn while passing the vehicle. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? You should avoid traveling next to others whenever possible. Which of the following statements about backing is true? Both of the above are true. You should back and turn towards the driver's side whenever possible, and backing is always dangerous. What is black ice? A thin layer of ice clear enough that you can see the road underneath it. You should try to park your vehicle so that You can pull forward when you leave. What checks should you perform on the steering gear box? The steering box should not be missing any nuts, bolts, or quarter keys. 